Now it's my honor to introduce the amazing Maris. Hello, I'm Maris Danette, and I believe that to bloom as a person, you have to try new things. Ever since I was a small child, I was a late bloomer. Kids in my class in first grade were all doing the normal first grade things, like reading and adding things, whereas I was not because I was a slow learner. I had to get some extra help along the way from my teacher, Miss Missy. She taught me that it was okay that I wasn't up with the other kids and that blooming would take time. Back then, I didn't know exactly what she meant or what it meant to me, but ever since she's told me that, it's always stuck with me. And now, after spending the last two years here at the college school, I finally understand the meaning of it. For me to bloom as a person, I have to travel outside of my comfort zone and try new things. Before I came to the college school, I always did things that I was comfortable with and never tried anything new. For me, every day was the same. I would get up, get ready, go to school, come home, do homework, have food, and that was it. Nothing really interesting ever happened, mostly because I was too afraid of trying anything new. When I finally came to TCS two years ago in seventh grade, I understood things would be different. The college school is like my old school in a lot of ways, but it has so many more opportunities and forces you to do something new every day. Some examples include going canoeing on a theme day or having water balloons thrown at you from the roof by all the teachers. So for me, a person who had very little interest in trying new things, had to find myself in a school that has you walking up to random strangers on the street and asking them questions, had small little seventh grade Maris clearly worried about what each day would bring. Since I started seventh grade a week after the other students, I didn't have a lot of classes to choose from. One of those classes was performing Shakespeare, which I was fretting over all year. I had never been much of a theater person, but when it came to me that I was going to have to be in this class, I tried to think of it as a new experience. When I first started reading some lines, I was a little nervous I would say it wrong or it wasn't in the right voice. But once I started to get used to the class, things started to work out. After understanding the fact that I was scared, I knew that I needed to overcome those fears and try something new by stepping out of my comfort zone. I ended up doing pretty well performing on stage and even through all the doubt. This, ended up, this class ended up being one of my most enjoyable ones and I chose to take another theater class this year. When I started eighth grade, I knew that there was this big outdoor trip called field ecology. I was never really an outdoor person either, but taking what I learned from performing Shakespeare, I tried to think of it as, once again, a new experience. So when the time came, I was prepared for field eco. There were a lot of first times on that trip, like kayaking and whitewater rafting. And even though the trip was hard, I pushed myself to think positively about each and every new experience. Over my time here at the college school, I've truly witnessed the power of growing as a person. In third grade, I remember this one exercise we did, which was about A versus B type people. The A type is more of a leader and outgoing, whereas the B type was more of a follower and goes along for the ride. At that time, I decided I was a strong B-type person. But ever since I've been at the college school, I've noticed that I've become more of an A-type person. I found this out from all the multiple group projects, trips, and simply not being afraid to ask a lot of questions. But most importantly, I noticed this by stepping out of my comfort zone. Even though it was challenging to embrace the idea of trying new things to help me grow, I understood that fear was something I had to overcome. I know from many experiences that trying new things can be scary, but I've come to embrace the fact that we're going to have to step out of our comfort zone at some point in our lives and take advantage of that. <clears throat> so, to all those scared little Marises out there, I have one thing to say to you. You got this. Thank you.